East Idaho Eats, brought to you by Young Mazda. Welcome back to East Idaho Eats, everybody. My name is Caitlin, and today I am here at Grub Slingers with Wendy and Levi. We are about to try some amazing food. Can you guys tell me a little bit about your business and how long you've been doing it? So we started in the food business in 2016 when we moved out here to Idaho. And while well, we moved out here in 2014, opened a restaurant, it was a little bit much. So we went into getting our food truck and catering. Catering is a lot easier than the food truck, to be honest. <laughs> um, however, it just has blossomed and grown. We had another truck before this one, and then we grew into our big pants and got the big truck. And now we, we well, we've been catering the entire time as well, but it's just a lot of fun and it's just, just become a passion more or less and and we need food in this area good tasting food right. and that's the difference with us is everything is like a flavor burst perfect well it sounds like you guys have an awesome thing going and a great passion for it so let's try the food i am very excited <laughs> so what let's try this dish first tell me what this is and kind of explain what's in it so this is our latest um it was added to the menu about two weeks ago this is our boss hog bowl oh and God. the boss hog is our smoked pork belly and we smoke it over about 14 to 17 hours wow. put it over a bed of rice and it's got a little kick to it and my i make my own uh, rendition of cowboy candy and all kinds of yumminess of flavor burst and we serve it up just like that and it is quite the hit that is insane it's so tender you said how long do you it's put that for about anywhere sometimes if they're small enough we can get away with six to nine hours but most of the time it's about this one was about 15. oh my gosh low and slow that is perfect yes. and there's jalapenos in here and it gives it a little kick and everything and it's not too much of a kick though is it no it's <laughs> perfect and it got, you've got rice at the bottom and everything that is absolutely insane oh Thank my gosh you. i see why that's a huge hit yeah everything's a flavor pop I, <laughs> For sure, I could eat that whole thing right now if we didn't have, you know, cameras. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> um, and then this is what you guys typically serve for a wedding, right? Yes, this is okay, our right. one of our most traditional wedding dishes. Oh my gosh. Um, this is our, um, we hand cut all of our own beef and all of our own steaks. This is our loaded mashed potatoes. So you don't have to have butter and gravy and all the other sides. It's like a loaded mashed potato that is, you know, like a great um, baked potato, but not so much work. Um, the steak is a very tender cut and I will never give up my source on that but <laughs> again we do hand cut and do our own but I only I've used the same meat company since 2014 and I will never ever veer from my secret with catering we custom create to the individuals we do our best that we can do to make food affordable to fit within somebody's budget because just because you're getting married doesn't mean you need to have a ten thousand dollar or a thirty thousand dollar you know budget to have steak and potatoes. That is, I mean, you were right. That is so tender. And I think people would probably fight you for that meat vendor because that's insane. Yeah, they've tried. <laughs> it doesn't work. That is so good. And the potatoes too, you said these are garlic potatoes. What are um, those are a loaded mashed potato. Loaded mashed so potatoes. there is no garlic in those. Actually, there is a little bit of garlic seasoning. That's There's about so the only, flavor, yeah. Like that's crazy. <laughs> that's insane. Those are so good. And everything we use, like the um, butter, it's real butter. It's not cheap. I don't do the margarine stuff. We don't do no we make everything oh, it's good stuff well i don't turn my own butter let me be honest <laughs> so just just i mean it's 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 incredibly flavorful and i mean you have to have a good potato in idaho and you guys right them, so that's amazing oh yes and then we'll try this last one this is i'm very excited what are we got what have we got here so this is our loaded macaroni salad which um we sell by the buckets anytime we have it on the truck it goes it's gone I'm it's in, two, in two seconds flat again flavor burst and it's a loaded mac and this is our popper burger. Okay. So the popper burger we came up with in 2015, and it you is see this, um, oh my gosh. the house, the homemade aioli that goes on that. Uh, just the cut of the beef, the cut of all the bacon. It's all just different cuts of bacon. It's none oh none of your flat, boring bacon. And the pops of flavors, you get your pickled jalapenos, but you got some fresh in there. And I can't tell you the rest or I'd have to kill you. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> I said the aioli, that but that's about insane. all I'm giving. Like the, the bacon in there is like thick. Mm -hmm. It's like a whole... People get what they pay for. When they come to our food truck, that's what we shoot for. This is insane. Like, I know I've been saying that about everything, but this is like so perfectly cooked and everything on it works so well together. And then how do you guys come up with stuff like that? Like what is your, what is your process or something like that? I get bored really easy <laughs> and I have a test dummy. 
<laughs> Actually, I have a whole house full of test dummies, and I'm like, you gotta try this. Our new one that we just came out with, our new burger, which I can't wait for. There's a certain someone before I launch it. Well, the chief of our police department, he's quite the regular with us. Actually, all of our law enforcement, first responders, grub slingers, we take care of our own. So when they come to our truck, we t they get prioritized because if they gotta go out on a call, we wanna make sure they're fed. Um, we take care of our own. So our chief is very hooked on the popper or the boss hog bowl. He's very hooked on the popper. So a friend of mine came to the trailer last week and I was like, well, he said, surprise me. So I came up with a little rendition of the both of those. Oh my word. So we're naming it the chief. Oh, perfect. So the chief burger that's going to be coming out. That's you. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. It's out of control. Well, do you want to tell everybody where you guys are located, what your hours are and where they can find you? Whew. If you can find us, the best place to find us is on Instagram or um, you can look up our website. It's www.grubslingerscatering.com and you can reach us directly through there. But if you sign up with Facebook or Instagram, we will notify you and you'll get a blip, blip on your phone. We will put a flash out of where we're at. But right now we are so busy with catering and private weddings and private events. The food truck has been like once a month if we're lucky in Rigby, but usually we try to open up at least a half a day in Rigby on Tuesdays right in front of the Presbyterian Church right across from Brolam's here in Rigby. Rigby, okay, perfect. So, Thank you guys so much for letting me try all this amazing food and make sure to check out Grub Slingers on Facebook and Instagram and on their website. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.